Let's hope for some space because we are going to need it. Diamond stitching, two liter four cylinder engine. Ah, you know, the very cheap stuff that comes from a country in Asia. Start it up. What's up ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max, and today we are checking out this BMW X4. Um, why, you may ask, because we drove an X4 very recently, well, because we didn't really like it. We drove the 20D M Sport X version, and to be honest, that 20D just isn't good enough for this car. And there was a PR manager at BMW who thought the same, or at least who thought that we shouldn't have been given that 20D, um, because it's just not really great for the purposes we use the car for. So he said, why don't you take an X430i next time? Uh, and he said that he had specced a really nice one. And I have to agree because I really, really like this spec. It is sandstone metallic, I believe. Uh, I think it's a really cool color. We have some BMW individual wheels, 21 inch, if I'm correct. Yep, 21 inch, really big. And it has a Fiona Rot red and black two-tone interior also bmw individual really soft leather really nice stitching with this sort of diamond stitching almost uh really really cool i really like it uh, especially you know the combination between this sandstone metallic and the red and the black that's just a really nice combination Other than that, uh, if you want to learn more about the new X4 in general, about the platform, about the development, click up here for the 20D review. And uh, if you have seen it already, well, enjoy the ride. So that 20D had 190 horsepower. This one has the B48. 2 liter four cylinder engine with 252 horsepower and 350 newton meters. Sort of the, it's part of the new modular engine platform of BMW. So the B48 is basically the B58 six cylinder with two cylinders cut off. To be really, you know, it's not that easy, but <laughs> we'll just call it like we see it. All right, uh, let's check it out in here. It also has an M badge down here, but if you have seen, uh, and down there as well, and here as well, but if you have seen my previous video of the 20D, that had a very large M badge right here, uh, which sort of reminded me of the stuff you know, the very cheap stuff that comes from a country in Asia. I'm not supposed to say any more because apparently you guys take offense. But uh, I mean, come on, this is better. X4, I like this as well. The X on the door, which you don't see if it's closed. There it goes, it's down there, bye-bye. And uh, we've got the display key as well which I still really like. I mean, it's been a couple of years since this has been introduced. Uh, it was with the new 7 Series, the current 7 Series. But still, you know, we, we hold a lot of keys and I have to say that this is still the nicest one. It's a bit gimmicky, but you know, it feels really good and heavy and, and nice. Um, yeah, interior wise, as I said, Fiona Road, um, really beautiful. I mean, I like this car even more because it has such a nice interior. All right, let's start it up. iDrive system with touchscreen, of course. You've seen it all before. Uh, this is mainly about the performance, about the engine, about the four cylinder. Uh, we're going to drive it along this road towards the Autobahn and then we'll do a quick Autobahn blast. 
to see how it performs. Uh, we didn't do an autobahn part of the POV review of the 20D because it just it, it was so slow. Uh, so we thought that's not really interesting for you guys. But with this one, we are going to do it. So basically, we're just going to compare it to the 20D and see if this is any better. And mainly if this engine is more satisfactory in this car, because it is a quite a heavy car. It's 1900 something kilos. It is an SUV or an SAC as BMW likes to call it. Sports Activity Coupe. Ugh. Someone has been doing their marketing job. But anyway, as you drive it like this regularly, you really feel that it's more smooth, of course, but that's also because it's a petrol engine. The 20D was fine for any soccer mom or any person who lives in the city and doesn't really get out of it. Uh, for old people and well, people who don't really ask that much of their car, of the of the of their engine. This, however, is a lot nicer. It it just goes when you want it to. The engine is super smooth. I mean, this is one of the smoothest four cylinders I have ever driven, I think. It is really nice. You don't really hear it, but you do feel that it's there and working for you. It's of course linked to a ZF 8-speed automatic gearbox, which is great as always. Uh, we also have a sport mode, so we're just going to do sport plus. And well, luckily we've got a tunnel here because get ready for this. Oh yes, holy moly. No, just kidding. Uh, the sound is absent but that's a good thing if you ask me because as I said it's super smooth this engine and the fact that it doesn't sound like anything is part of that you only really hear it when you floor it and you go you know to the top of the rev range but when you drive it regularly it's just lovely here we are, this is the on-ramp for the Ultraman. Uh, you also get launch control with the 30i, which, you know, <laughs> don't think you'll ever going to use it, but it's there, it wasn't there on the 20D. Uh, right. Let's hope for some space because we are going to need it. Even though it has 252 horsepower, it is not ridiculously quick. But you know, even now, the engine is not, it's not like you're, you get the feeling that you're straining the engine or something. It's just doing its work relatively quietly. Zero to 100 kilometers an hour, take 6.3 seconds and on to a top speed of 240 kilometers an hour so I hope we'll be able to verify it we're at 230 now and it is super so oh, that's too bad 233 now it's going to take a while again but you know it's super comfortable stable quiet it's just a really really nice car I have to say and as I said that interior makes me very happy but that also contributes to the fact that it's just a really nice place to be yeah I think this is the engine that that should be the, at the bottom for most of you most of our viewers most car lovers I think this is the the minimum uh, you'd want but it it certainly provides some kind of 
improvement over the 20 series. Ah, that's 240. Nice. Okay, so this is the top speed. And we're going to get off here. But as I said, this, this should be the minimum for anyone who likes to drive, you know, swiftly. Um, because that's it, it's fine with that. If you want more performance, of course, you can also get an M40i, uh, which is really great. It's the six cylinder B58 with 360 horsepower. And an X4M is also coming, um, rumored to have around 470 horsepower. You can also go for diesel version 20D, 30D, M40D, uh, for the first time M40D, which is really cool. And well, I'm happy that BMW decided to give us this 30i because it just leaves a better impression with me going forward of the BMW X4. This is the minimum. Forget the 20d and the 20i. And with that, I'm going to end it. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can also check out this POV review of an X3 M40i and you can also check out this POV reviews playlist. We've made a lot of these, so if you enjoyed this one, maybe you'll enjoy some more. You can also subscribe by clicking the big button right here. Thanks for watching, guys. See you at the next one. Bye.